Math 43, I thought I would do another problem of the day. So like always, I recommend try this first on your own, pause it, pause the screencast, come back and see how you're doing. So I thought we would look at comparing box plots. If you take a look here, I can read that the, the variable here is the speed for these 145 roller coasters. And they're separated by whether they're wooden roller coasters or steel roller coasters. And I don't have information in terms of how many roller coasters are in each set. I don't know if it's split evenly or if there were like 15 wooden and 130 steel. I don't have that information, which is, it's fine. But here is my numerical variable. And technically speed is a continuous numerical variable because we would measure speed. A lot of times we report it discreetly. You know, I say something like I'm driving at 55 miles an hour or 56 miles an hour. I don't say something like I'm driving at 55.789 miles per hour. So we typically report it discreetly, but it is continuous. So let's go ahead and take a look at the these questions and see if we can answer them. So it says, which type of roller coaster has a higher percentage of coasters that go faster than 60 miles an hour. So buzzwords that stand out for me, I see the 60 miles per hour and that is a speed. So I know that's gonna line up somewhere here on my X axis and I can actually see speed at 60 right there. All right, and then I also see the buzzword there of higher proportion or percentage. So I, I need some sort of relative frequency. So let's take a look at 60. Let me go ahead and draw a line here. And I think I can make it a straight line, there we go. Um, that's about as straight as I'm going to be able to get on my little iPad, but it, it's close enough. So where I'm going with this is you can see here on the wooden roller coasters, this is Q3, where on the steel roller coasters, this is the median. And in terms of percentiles, and the, I want to think about percentiles because it asked me about percentages, this is the 75th percentile, and this is the 50th percentile. And another way of saying that is if I want to think about roller coasters that go faster than, that's from 60 on up, then I can see that it's about 50% of the steel roller coasters, but it's only about 25% of the wooden roller coasters. Because again, if it's if 60 miles an hour is Q3, that means 75% is from here on down. Right? But if it's the median for the steel, that means 50% is from here on down. Or another way of saying that is 25% from there on up, 50% from there on up. So which type had a higher percentage of roller coasters going faster than 60? Well, that would be the steel. All right, so there is my answer for that one. Now, to move to the next one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase all the stuff that I had here. Whoops, excuse me, that was not what I wanted. Where is that little button that I'm used to? Here it is. Sorry, they updated my um, my iP um, <laughs> the Notability app, so I'm still getting used to it. All right, so if we move down to this next one, I'm gonna squish this in so we can see the question. Which type of coaster had the higher percentage of roller coasters going faster than 50 miles an hour? So now my variable has changed to 50, which is still right here, and I'm gonna use the same type of method. So let me draw the 50, the line at the 50. All right, and if we start to line this up, if I look on my wooden roller coaster, that's Q1, and if I look at my steel roller coaster, that is also Q1. And Q1, as we know, is the 25th percentile, right, for both of them. And so if we're talking about who was going, or how, what proportion was going faster, I wanna go this direction. So again, over here, this is 75% of my data. And this is also 75% of my data. I get that the spreads are different, but proportionally speaking, right, and we are talking about percentages, it's both 75% of the wooden and steel roller coasters go faster than 50 miles an hour. So I'm gonna say about the same, all right? Because I don't know that this hits exactly at 50. It's just pretty darn close to it. All right, and then if we scroll down here, it says which type of coaster had more observations? Well, this is a, a question where we, we don't know the answer. Anytime you have a box plot, all you needed to do this was your five number summary, right? So if I look at this, this is really based off of five numbers 
Admittedly, I don't know how much, um, how many of these 145 were in the wooden versus steel, but there was at least five wooden and at least five steel, which allowed me to get that five number summary. But that's one of the, the downsides to box plots is you don't have any information on sample size because you only have five numbers representing your entire data set. So for number three, I, I can't determine that, which is fine. We just need to recognize that. And then I've, I had a few questions about, hey, can we compare some socks here? So I'm going to compare my socks, but I'm going to scooch this up just so I can see everything. And I'm going to write it over here. So let me go ahead. And again, I'm going to try and delete all of this stuff just so we have some space. All right. Let me get that out. Okay, and then let me clear this out just so it's not junked up. And let's start looking at the socks. So I'll go through socks. All right, so let's see what we got. Now, if I look at these box plots, let's look at the wooden one. Here's the median, right? And if I want to look left tail to right tail, the left tail is about that long. The right tail is about that long. They're pretty darn close. So I would go ahead and say that this one is roughly symmetric. And then let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening with the steel roller coasters. There's the median, all right? And again, if I look at the left tail, it's about this long. If I Maybe it's help, more helpful for me to write it that way. The right tail, it's a little bit longer, all right? And you do wanna go to that outlier. So I, I could say here, this is either skewed right or it's roughly symmetric, all right? I would accept either answer. I would not accept skewed left, that would be incorrect. So what I'm gonna do is since they both basically have roughly symmetric graphs, I'm just gonna say both distributions are roughly symmetric. Oops, there we go. And that is a great comparing sentence because you can see I'm using the word both in there. All right, in terms of outliers, and again, let me go ahead and delete what I have here. In terms of outliers, I can see that I have two here and one here. So really what I'm seeing is that both distributions have outliers. I'm gonna go ahead and write that up. All right, and again, I'm using that comparative language with your both in there. And you could have used a different sentence. You could have said, the wooden roller coasters have more outliers than the steel, right? Or you could say wooden roller coasters have two outliers, whereas the steel roller coasters only have the one. Those are completely acceptable. Now, in terms of center, you can use mean, median, mode, mid-range, but I, I'm going to use the median because it's, it's the most common one when you're looking at a box plot. It's always given. And if I look, I think the median for the steel looks like it's about... 60 and if I kind of scroll down here for the wooden it might be 55 somewhere in there but really what I'm seeing is that the steel roller coasters have a higher median speed than wooden roller coasters so let me write that up steel roller coasters have a higher median speed than and roller coasters. And on the flip of that, you could have said that wooden roller coasters have a smaller median speed than wooden um, than steel roller coasters. You could have written it the other way, but again, you see my comparative language in there. All right, last but not least, let's look at variability or spread. Now, again, in this second S, I could use spread, range, standard deviation, variance, IQR. And I would either use the IQR or the range here, or maybe quote the spread, but let's look at what we're dealing with. So if I go here, my wooden roller coasters, here is their spread, right, low to high. My steel roller coasters, there is their spread. And you can see in terms of highs and lows, right, you can see that the steel roller coasters are much more spread out, right? Their min looks like it's maybe 27 to 120 where the wooden roller coasters are like 25 to 80, somewhere in there. But you can just see that this orange line is much larger. So I would say the range of speeds for steel roller coasters is larger than the range for wooden roller coasters. So let me write that, the range of speeds for steel roller coasters
is larger than the range. for wooden roller coasters. All right, and again, let me highlight that I'm using that comparative language. So that's one option. You could have written it the other way, that the range for wooden roller coasters is smaller than steel. Another option, if you wanted to, if you wanted to look at IQRs, which is totally fine to look at, if we wanna go ahead and look at the IQR here, look at, there's the spread for the IQR here. And there's a spread for the IQR there. So I could say that the IQRs for steel or the IQR for steel roller coasters is larger than the IQR for wooden roller coasters. That would have been fine as well. So there's lots of possibilities. But again, I just want to make sure you're using that comparative language as you move through this. All right.